everybody, it's Chris Kerbal Space Program. Now this is the two point, oh, sorry, point two three career mode update. Um, broke all my saves, so I waited till some of the mods were fixed up, and then I could reinstall them and, and try them out. So these are just the beginning missions, and we're gonna plow right through them. So basically most of this is just to show you what you can do with um, this is very limited parts in order to get science. Now, the only reason I threw these in here uh, is because, one, I recorded them and I just figured I'd use them. And two, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, how, to, how to get points quickly and not kill your Kerbals, basically. So anyone that's new to the game... Um, or new to career mode especially these are the ways that most people get early points and uh, it's not really that far off from what you'd think of a typical space program where you take little steps instead of uh, you know one giant jump into space um, you know the Russians did it and uh, they killed some I think they had one cosmonaut to death but or at least one but um, you know where America decided to take a little bit more time and they put the welfare of their astronauts first uh, and you know they took cautionary steps and, and made sure that uh, they were doing it as safely as they possibly could uh, you know it was everything was new to them so they weren't really sure of all the dangers I mean they had the <laughs> They, they knew they were riding a explosive into space, but uh, all the things that could go wrong that no one had ever even thought of yet, uh, you know, the brilliant minds on, in any space program, not just America's, but, uh, you know, their, their job is to, basically, it's trial and error when you first start out, and, um, you know, they had a lot of information from the V2 rocket program from Germany, but these are things you just can't fathom until it happens, and, you know, it, the Challenger explosion, and I mean, those are all things that y y you just don't know. I mean, you can take every step you can, but I mean, who would have thought an O-ring would cause uh, an explosion? Um, so you know, the mistakes do happen, and and unfortunately, people die. But uh, this, you know, you can't hold back a program uh, just because of one incident or two incidences uh, over the course of 40, 50 years. And, uh, you know, look where we are today. We're actually doing uh, a spacewalk to replace an ammonia pump on the International Space Station. And, uh, you know, they're doing it, and they were scheduled to do it in three EVAs. They're going to do it in two, hopefully, because then they won't have to go uh, do an EVA on Christmas, and they can actually relax and eat, I don't know, fruit freeze-dried turkey or something with all the stuffings. But, um, yeah, I mean, we huge leaps and bounds, so uh, that's basically what this intro is to the career mode. Um, and, you know, you could, you could start out with just putting the capsule on the pad like I did and get enough points to get the stack separator, which is, you know, a, a very important piece of equipment. And, um, you know, that's what helps you build your rockets taller and still be able to utilize, you know, or still be able to get into space, uh, you know, not worrying about thruster weight ratios as much because you can drop all the dead weight and you can have engines inside, um, you know, the stages. And uh, just, like I said, I mean, I, I must have opened like seven or eight tech nodes um, by the end of this, like, I had two kind of two videos that I put together and it's about 10 minutes and I cut out all the uh, the stuff in between like you know when it's loading into the different screens so uh, you know this is basically just footage from there and uh, you know and in this case I I had gotten a lot of points from the water so I decided to see if I could get it over to the um, the shore and get a little bit different points and uh, one of the new things about point two three is the fact that you can actually track your experiments now where you couldn't before so uh, you kind of have an idea of where you want to go and where you've been and whether the science is going to be worth it so that was very helpful and that was a great add addition to point two three that was not in point two two 
Um, and the, there are some screens in here, and they probably go really quick where I actually look at the different, um, you know, you'll see a list of the celestial bodies on the left, and it'll show you all the experiments and all that stuff, and, and the things that you've done and the things that you can do, and, you know, what's all completely researched and what isn't, and, you know, that'll help you to kind of plan on what you want to do for your next mission. And as I go along through these missions here, you'll notice that the rockets get a little bit more complex. They get a little bit bigger, um, and that's just the natural progression. And then the missions actually get longer as well because uh, when you get closer to the end of the video, you'll see the rockets are kind of tall, and they go into space. And, you know, you can get orbits where you really can't. I mean... I don't know if you can with the first initial parts. I, I mean, I, I think Scott Manley did it with the tech, uh, the first tier node, the first tech node unlocked, and he got um, either into orbit or into like a flyby of the moon. But he's obviously a a pro, and I'm just someone who plays. Although I've put way too many hours into this game, but I enjoy it. And every time they do an update, it really. Um, it add, they add a lot to the game, so I'm, I'm happy with the, the way it's being supported by the developer's squad. And, um, you know, they have a great forum presence, although the forums just crash sometimes, but <laughs> I guess uh, it'll just take a little bit at a time. And, you know, these are the final uh, missions of the starter section here, and uh, some of these will be getting into orbit and then landing at this time i don't think i had deadly reentry installed i think i installed it after these uh two videos that i merged together so i wasn't really concerned about that now uh future things i'm going to be adding is remote tech which is not added yet as of yet i did add the interstellar mod i did add Kerbo alarm clock i did add uh inflate engineer redux i also added mech jeb which uh, you can't use it in the career mode until you get way past some tech nodes. So it, it might just show vessel status, but I, I don't need the mech jab anyway. The other thing would be um, tack life support, which is a big one uh, that makes it so your Kerbals can expire if they run out of oxygen, food, water, um, or battery, electri electrical power. So that's all, you know, that adds a lot of uh, depth to the challenge. And then uh, also Kerbal Attachment System, which is is great. And I never used it before. I, I finally just started using it, and there'll be some videos of it later on. But um, that you can actually do, like, connections, like pipe connections in between, um, you know, objects, like craft on the uh, on the surface. Like I have a, uh, a Mars, I'm sorry, a Moon Mars, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. A moon base starting. There's actually a, uh, a lander that was ran out of, f didn't have enough fuel to get back into orbit. Uh, so I sent out a rescue mission with uh, a capsule and a, um, a probe body so I could have the empty capsule. And that kind of crashed laid over on its side. So that was useless. And then uh, I sent a rescue mission, um, which. Actually, I, I kind of planned it to be either a rescue if I can or do something better, which would be like start a moon base. And, um, you know, with Kerbal Attachment System, I can connect all these different things. And that's how it started. So now, instead of nine days of uh, uh, life support, now has like 199 days because I, I, the lander had life support on it and then I connected the two capsules. So now there's two Kerbal knots up there and, um, you know, play of life support. So uh, check back soon. I'll be putting out more videos and please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, thanks for watching.